um, using LK script. And for that, um, I want to show you a macro that we've prepared um, to, to generate a tornado chart. Um, so Sam comes packaged with a bunch of macros, and macros are LK scripts that we have written um, that are um, that come with Sam. And and to see which ones are available, you click macros here, and the macros that are in this list depend on um, the performance model and financial model that you choose. So there are different macros for diff available for different kinds of, of um, projects, basically. And um, the one we're interested in here is the create a tornado chart macro. Um, and so to use it, um, you read the instructions. And, <clears throat> and the inputs are over here on the right. So we, we choose input. Choose an output metric, set the range, and then run the macro. Um, so let's do our inverter and module cost. Um, that's not too promising. Uh, this is a physical trough case, which is not what I want. What's happening here? I'll create a new case. We'll stick with PV watts because it runs fast. Go to macros. Create a tornado chart. OK. Select an input variable, inverter, and module. So we're going to do the same thing we did with, with stochastic analysis, except I'm using this macro. And then we, we can edit. Uh, uh, we can either, what I, I'm just going to run the macro. I want to look at a range of 50% um, for both the inverter cost and module cost. Um, but if I wanted to, I could specify a, a, a different range for each variable by clicking Edit. So I could say, well, I want, I want to vary the inverter cost by 20% and the module cost by 30% or something. Um, and you can also you can use percent, or you can use an absolute value. So you, you could say that you want to vary it by uh, one cent per watt, or half a cent per watt. Or you can specify the, the minimum and maximum uh, uh, values explicitly. Um, so so the, those ex so just by you putting in a percentage sign or a comma will differentiate between the different options here. I'm not going to do that here. but. That's how you do it, if you're interested in that. Now I'll choose an output metric. I'll, I'll choose PPA price. It's a big system, so PPA price is our key metric. Um, and then I click Run Macro, and I get a pretty tornado chart that shows me that if I vary the module cost and inverter cost plus or minus 15%, I can see that the, the impact on the PPA price the module cost is much higher than for the inverter cost. Um, and then I can, uh, by right-clicking the graph, I can uh, copy a screen, take a picture of it um, at different sizes, so 800 by 600 or 400 by 300 pixels, um, and paste it into a document. Um, I can also um, extract the data from the graph and, and, and export it to Excel or a CSV file. And then the macro, um, this is a macro that we've written for you. If you want to see what it looks like, you can click View Code. And you can modify it if there's something that it does that you'd like to do differently. Um, and of course, you can write your own macro as well. So you could just start from scratch. Um, and as I mentioned, if you want to learn more about that, um, you can uh, check out our, our webinar in March, I think, on scripting. 